Hi everybody, today I'll show you how to create online application form in WordPress. So let's just begin. Alright, to create the online application form in the WordPress, first of all what we need to do, we have to go inside the plugins and click on the add new plugin. And here we have to search for WP forms. And we have to install this now. And let's just click on activate. Alright, now what we have to do, we have to go inside our WP forms and we have to click on add new form from here. Alright, so as you can see here that we are inside the dashboard of our WP form. And here we have a lot of the different templates here. So here you can see here that we are having some free templates here at the top. And after that we are having the templates. But these are only accessible if you have the pro version of WP forms. Okay. But right now we're gonna build our job application form from the scratch. Alright, so from here we're gonna simply create our online application form. So I'm gonna build something like alumni form, something like this. So we're gonna write down. Alright, so alumni application form. Now what we have to do, we have to click on our blank form. Okay, so in here what we have to do, first of all, we need to add the name here. So I'm gonna simply click on this. And now you will be able to see the first name and the last name. So after that, I would like to add the address. So for the address, we're going to use single line text. And after this, what do we need? We're going to need uh, to get the name of the city. So we're going to go again with a single line text. And after that, I want to have the phone number here. So let's click on numbers. And then I'm going to go here with the email too. All right. So for the alumina form, I would add the enrollment field and also the completion field. Okay, so to add the date or the time field, we would actually need to have the access or provision of the WP form. But for now, for our enrollment and completion here, we're going to simply use single line text again and also single line text. So the first one would be for the enrollment year and the second one would be for the completion year. And after this, what do we need? We're going to need the name of the course here. So we're going to go here with drop down. And after that, we're going to also have one more option of kind of associations or the clubs. If a student or the candidate ever been involved in that. So we're going to also add that. Perfect. So I think we have all the fields that we required. Now we're going to simply edit them as per our requirement. So on our name field. I think I need the first and the last name format, but we also have the first, middle, last and the simple one. And you can also change the name of the label here, but I'm going to keep it like this. So after that, we have the second one. So on the second one, we're going to simply add the address. Okay, so I have to add one more D here and let's just keep it a required field. And after this, we need to have the city name. So we're going to write down the city here in the label, make it a required field. After that, we're going to have the phone number and we can also make it a kind of required field. So it's totally on to you whether you want to make this field a required field or not. And you can also add the placeholder text into them. Okay, so if you wanted to add the placeholder text into any of these options, you would actually need to go into the advanced fields. And from here, you can actually add the placeholder text. You can increase or decrease the size of the field and you also have the limit length or the text and then you also have these other options as well and after this what we have to do we're gonna have the enrollment year we're gonna add enrollment year so i have to spell it correctly let's just make it a required field and after this we're gonna have the completion year all right so we are having a completion year here as well so we can also make it a required field and then we have these two options so first would be the courses available courses or the courses however you want to label this so this will be let's say the business this will be let's say computer science or something like this this will be let's say economics and you can also add more options here and let's just go inside the advanced setting here and we can add the placeholder text so we can simply add choose one perfect and now we can also make this a required field and in the last we are having this association or the club or something like this so we're going to write down association or any club perfect so i'm going to simply name it as a club one uh, let's just make it a quiz club let's just make the first one as a developers club and in the last we can add 
ideas club perfect now let's just make it a required field again perfect so we have made our application form here so now we're going to simply save this and now let's close the dashboard of our wp form perfect now what i have to do i actually have to copy the short code of our application form okay and we're gonna use this wherever we wanted to add our form so we're gonna go into the pages and click on the add new page so here i'm gonna name it as online application form and now let's just click on edit with elementor perfect now first of all we're gonna add the heading here so this will be the online application form and after this we're gonna add our short code okay so let's click on the add element and we're gonna go here with the short code. Let's just add the short code. Now we have to paste the value that we have copied earlier for our WP form. And this is how it is going to look. All right, so now what we have to do, we're gonna click on our container. Now let's just make the content width to the full width. Perfect. All right, so now what we have to do, we're gonna go inside our advanced settings. So now I'm gonna add the margin values here. It will be from the left side. Okay, so I'm going to change this to the percentage. So this is going to be 50 or we're going to go here with 30. Yeah, we're going to go here with the 20 percentage. And we're going to also add this from the top side. So this will be 10 percentage as well. Perfect. Now what we have to do, we're going to add some spacing in between our form and heading. So let's just go inside the advanced setting of the heading. And let's just add the padding from the top side. And let's just add the padding from the bottom side. Perfect. Now let's click on publish. And let's just click on have a look. We have created our application form here. So now we can simply fill up the details here. Okay, so we have filled up our detail here. Now we're going to simply click on submit. We have successfully submitted our detail on our application form. So now I'm going to refresh this. And this is how we can use our online application form. And this is how we can create online application form in the WordPress. So if you really find this video useful, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.